assortment of political Oh, Adam. Oh, Adam. <laughs> is today is, is like Super Tuesday. Is like the Super Bowl for you? Well, that and the conventions uh -huh. and, and Inauguration Day all rolled up into one. So, you know, people are going to the polls, yes. But collectors are going to their attics. So yeah. this is a great time to show off the, the stuff. Okay, so you brought, this is like a portion of your collection. A just, fraction. just a fraction. Yeah. Uh, but you, you got into Buttons Howl. When I was in the fourth grade, our class took a, a trip to Sagamore Hill, which is Teddy Roosevelt's summer home. Okay, okay. And I found that Roosevelt led, lived six, six lifetimes. And, you know, whether it's a rough rider or a big game hunter or conservationist, I wanted to learn more about Roosevelt, so I started reading books, and then I found my first button, and that just snowballed. Just took off it's from no, that. It took off. This is fascinating because you really can tell a lot about America based on what you use to advertise your political campaign. Absolutely, and and here we are, the the centennial of the 19th passage of the 19th Amendment, where women got the right to vote, mm. and there's a button. Yeah, clear from, right there. From you know celebrating that historic occasion. That is so cool. So, uh, this one right here might be hard to see, yeah. but who's in that button there, Adam? That's 1864. That's Abraham Lincoln uh, running for re-election. Crazy. And so there were buttons. Uh, the, the actual button started in 1896 with the race with McKinley and Bryan, but there were tokens and trinkets and ribbons that celebrated Americans' uh, democracy before that. Um, is but, there is there like a Honus Wagner? Is there a button that collectors are like they there, would just run over you with a car for? There, there is uh -huh. actually the Holy Grail is uh, in 1920. Uh, Ohio Governor James Cox ran with a very young Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Oh, so okay. Cox Roosevelt um, buttons are extremely rare because the party in the, in the 1920 in 1920 did not, did not have a lot of money to spend on it, so they put out buttons with both of their pictures on it, and that's sort of a rare bird. Ooh. So a Cox Roosevelt Juget has sold um, in excess of, of $50,000. Get out. Oh, yes. Get yes. out we, of we here. Could, you, could, you could buy a car with what you get for some of them. Okay, let's get weird. Let's show some of the weirdest ones. Okay. Well, I, what I, I kind of like the fact that, you know, you don't have to pin your button on your lapel if you want to vote for a candidate. This, you could click with Dick. <laughs> and then, then they thought this was going to get what people to that? vote for people. Well, they quicker. thought so. And then, uh, I could train my dog. With you, have to, you have to remember, 1964, <laughs> we were running uh, Lyndon Johnson versus Barry Goldwater. Barry Goldwater was, was, a, was, a, was a Westerner. He was an Arizonan. So a bolo tie with gold oh, lame. Oh, yeah. Ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think the, the thing that, that sort of s synthesizes all of this is a single term, which is I like Ike. Yeah. His name was Eisenhower, <laughs> which doesn't really roll off the tongue, really even though he helped us win World War II. Um, Madison Avenue came up with Ike, and this became a theme song, if you ever saw the campaign commercials, and also became something that people wore that on the lapels. That is cool. We got to go, unfortunately, but I wanted to show you this. Coffee with Kennedy. This is a paper cup, That's and it's sure. still alive. That is still I cannot alive. believe this it's is gets squished shape, and stuff. Too. It's in really good shape. And then the last one, but last night, this is a mechanical button. <laughs> Kick out the depression with a with a Democratic vote. <laughs> wow, <laughs> love it. Thanks for sharing this, Adam. We My appreciate pleasure. it, man. My pleasure. It's, it's really a cool. The American Political Items Collectors uh -huh. is on the web at apic.us. Okay. Our big show this year is in Nashville, oh, August okay. 14th to the 16th. Uh, come check us out if you're in the area. If you're not, go to Nashville. Yeah. August the 14th to the 16th. Cool, man. Good to see you. Good to nice see to you. Be here. All right, Thanks. there you go. Back Thank to you. Thank you, gents. 745 now. If you love low budget game shows, you are watching the right show. Coming up next, we're going to have another round of Conway. Conway oh, or Kanye. I'm so excited for it, too. But first, a popular